As we enter the home stretch of the election season, an overwhelming number of San Diegans say housing and the cost of living are among the top issues facing the city. During last night's unedited mayoral debate on ABC 10, we asked Mayor Todd Gloria and his opponent Larry Turner about possible solutions. We've put in the policy reforms to actually speed up and increase the amount of housing that's being built. I've passed two affordable housing uh, action packages via the city council. And what has that done? That has increased housing production. We've also sped up the, per, uh, the per permitting of these structures. What used to take months or years is now being permitted in seven days on average. That kind of uh, management acuity along with good policy took us from 5,000 new home permits in 2022 to 10,000 new housing permits in 2023. The mayor's plan to work with uh, outside of San Diego developers to, to have this build baby build plan, thinking that that's going to reduce the cost of the housing. It isn't working and it's not going to work. So uh, while he has uh, increased the permits for housing, that's all been market rate housing. Okay, the amount of permits that he's done for the affordable housing has been minuscule and not enough. According to the San Diego Association of Realtors, the median sales price for a home is more than a million dollars in San Diego, and things don't get much easier for people, for people renting. According to Apartment List, the average price for a two-bedroom apartment is nearly $2,500. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill followed through with San Diegans about their struggles trying to find a reasonable place to live. It's just not possible to make three times the rent. When the rent prices are 2800 a month, 3800 a month, or 2200 a month. This is Margo Velez, your typical San Diegan, dealing with something almost everyone in this city is experiencing. It's scary when you're living paycheck to paycheck. If I burn a chicken, I can't order a pizza because I have to allot, you know, money to other bills and such, like cell phone bills and other things that um, we need gas, insurance for the car. So it's just hard. ABC 10 News first talked to Margo last month about her struggles to afford to call San Diego home, even with a full-time job. The rents were too high. You know, it's just too much. Right now, the average income in San Diego County is just under $120,000. To qualify for help and make things a little easier, you need to make under $85,000 on the high end. That's right about where Margo is, so she's eligible. However, experts say it's not as simple as just putting down a deposit on a low-income housing spot. You will still have a wait list, and typically, like when a building like this opened with 150 apartments, 160, uh, they had a waiting list immediately of 1,500. There's also other societal factors, like special housing that's set aside for specific groups. Not a veteran. I don't have any trauma, no domestic violence. I don't have teen mothers. Margot could move one of her adult children in to help. However, that would increase her total income. Together, they'd make too much. Because, you know, you, well, your daughter makes this and you make that and you just don't qualify because it's just too much. What do you mean it's too much? I'm still struggling. Hello? So, yeah, um, we don't qualify for a lot of low, low income apartments. Margo's like many San Diegans trying to make ends meet. They need to open up the requirements for low income housing and they need to build more a little quicker. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.